You're walking down the street on a hot summer day. The sun is shining and the birds are singing. And then you realize you're all wet. Where did it come from? Why is it here? That gross salty liquid that squirts out of you is sweat. All humans sweat, and most mammals sweat. Even plants can sweat. But what about water bottles? You know you've seen it, a cold glass of water on a hot day. Water starts to form on the outside of this glass. Did the water just leak right through the glass? Is this quantum mechanics at play? Not quite. Air is made up of 78% nitrogen, 21% oxygen, and trace other gases. But there's also a lot of other things in the air, like dirt and dust, but also a lot of water vapor. Warm air can hold a lot of water vapor, but when air comes into contact with something cold, like a glass of ice water, the air can't hold as much water, and the water vapor will condense out, forming water droplets. The water on your glass actually comes from the air itself. Condensation is also the reason that morning dew forms. The cold night air can't hold as much water as the warm air from the day before. Humans, quite obviously, don't sweat the same way. We have millions of tiny sweat glands that squirt out mostly water mixed with salt and other minerals. So how does this cool us down? It's actually quite complicated, but let's do our best. Think of temperature as pretty much the same thing as energy in this circumstance. Your skin transfers energy to water molecules. The molecules of water with the most energy will escape the water droplet and evaporate. That energy that is gone lowers the total energy of the system. In essence, the high energy molecules that are evaporating lower the temperature of your skin. Next time a drop of sweat is sitting on your arm, you can think about the trillions of molecules evaporating every second just to make you a bit cooler. And as always, thanks for watching and have a super duper delicious day.